I need to know how to fix a dishwasher control panel. If all the lights are flashing like Christmas lights, turn it off and back on to see if that resolves it. If that doesn't work, turn it off at the breaker and back on, then it may not come back on. Then you know the root cause is a malfunctioning control panel that needs to be replaced. That's around a third the price of a new dishwasher. If the dishwasher already stopped working, you could also check if a wiring harness connecting the control panel to the control board is disconnected. That would cause it to not light up in the first place. Shorts in the wiring due to excess humidity could cause it to work sporadically. I know there are dishwashers that had a lot of control board and control panel failures because the steam vent blew hot air on it. The short term solution in that case is redirect the vent if possible. Unfortunately, you can't air out the control board. If wiring or the control board has shorts, it is going to fail permanently at some point. In that case, you need to replace it. If one button in particular isn't working, you could try a different wash cycle. Or, depending on the dishwasher, replace that button. It isn't just one button. Then it clearly isn't one button stuck in place by food residue. If you have a Maytag dishwasher or a Whirlpool one, they were hit with a class action lawsuit over a bad control panel design that allowed water in and caused the control panels to fail. Where would the moisture come in? It isn't like degrading seals on the door of the dishwasher wearing down on exposure to hot water, dish soap and bank doors. The flexible membrane stitch or FMS broke down and let water in, so metal whiskers and shorts occurred. Fortunately, I don't own that brand of dishwasher. And given the design flaw, the solution is a newer dishwasher that doesn't have that design flaw. It certainly isn't a replacement control board that has the same flaw. In some dishwasher models, there is a ribbon wire firmly connected to the control panel. If that comes loose, you'll get control panel errors. I'd have to take the inside of the dishwasher door side off to see if that was the case. Though I can't absolutely say it didn't come loose from someone slamming the dishwasher door shut. If you're constantly slamming it shut to get it to run, you need to replace the door latch or door latch sensor, too, so you don't have to break it to try to get it to run. What else could cause the control panel to just go dead? If a fuse to the kitchen blew, that'll kill it. Ditto for a thermal fuse. This is a dishwasher, not an oven. If the heating element manages to overheat, the thermal fuse in the dishwasher could blow and shut down the dishwasher. If the dishwasher gets that hot, the control panel not working is the least of my problems.